Hello and good evening YouTube, and today I've decided to do something completely different. So, I decided, so because Nintendo announced Mario Kart Tour and its retro tracks today, I decided to make a hilarious idea where I predict the outcomes of the, of the game's retro tracks by using Random Name Picker to choose what tracks will be in, instead of just randomly choosing it the old-fashioned way. Raptors are in the NBA Finals! Too bad they're gonna get swept by Golden State. Because face it, we need to face reality, kids, because we can't have any parody in the NBA. But that's not what we're talking about today. So I got all the retro tracks from every single Mario Kart game out there instead of the instead of the arcade games and decided to put them into all these cups and I put them all in random name picker to see what tracks will be in the game according to the according to the random name picker because I wanted to try something new and I want to see how what the outcomes would be so so this is what I did I have the four traditional retro cups the shell banana leaf and lightning cup and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to random is that I'm going to click a random name and what it, and the track that gets named will be in the game. So that's literally what I'm trying to do here. So the first name, so the first retro track in Mario Kart Tour is Grumble Volcano. That's honestly not a bad pick to be honest. But that to start the Shell Cup? I honestly have no idea why that would be a good idea. So, literally, that's ridiculous. That's honestly fucking stupid if you say that. So the so the reason I have to delete them from random name pickers that they in case that they get chosen again. So that's the reason why I'm doing that. So this second race in the Shell Cup is Bowser's. Bowser Castle. So already, just two tracks into this to this video, we already have a Bowser's Castle not even in the Lightning Cup. That is insane, literally. <laughs> okay, I'm already laughing to be honest, right here. So I have to delete it. Ah, oh, Peach Gardens. I had to edit that out, sorry. So, what will be the next track into the into the cup? <laughs> Bowser's Castle from the Wii U. So that's two Bowser's Castles or Castles in one cup. What is what is going on? Literally. I think we just I think we should rename the Shell Cup to the to the Bowser Castle Cup because that's literally all of what it is at this point. I already am. I am not regretting doing this. I mean, I'm having a lot of fun here. So the last track in the Shell Cup is please not know Bowser's Castle. Yoshi Valley. Yoshi Valley from the Nintendo 64 is the last track in the Shell Cup. So this is already insane. The first cup already has three tracks that is that are related to volcanoes and lava, except for Bowser's Castle, but two Bowser's Castles in one in one cup. That is insane. Literally insane. So we have so next is the is the traditional banana cup. Oh my goodness, I'm laughing. <laughs> so, the next, the first track in the Banana Cup is... Music Park. From the 3DS. Music Park is actually a decent track, so that's literally all I'm going to say right here. The next track in the Banana Cup is... Dry Dry, dry, dry Desert. So, our next track in the game is Yoshi Circuit. Another Yoshi type track. 
Literally. That's two double dash tracks in one cup. So already, the second and third race are very related to each other because it's double dash. But who fucking cares, so at this point... <laughs> I'm, I'm still laughing. I'm literally laughing on the inside. <laughs> okay, okay. So our next, the next track is... Bowser Castle Free! How many Bowser Castles are there? I love how it's how it chooses Bowser's Castle Free from the Super Nintendo because that's the third Bowser Retro Bowser Castle track in the game. And of course it's the last race in the Banana Cup. So, in the Banana Cup, we have Music Park, Dry Dry Desert, Yoshi Circuit, and Bowser Castle Free. What? What is going on here? I literally have no idea what the hell's going on. That is literally... Why are you doing this to me, random name picker? Why are you doing this to me? Alright, so... The first race in the Leaf Cup is... Oh, fuck. We have to deal with this shit track yet again, boys. As you may know, in Mario Kart Wii, it was an absolute hell to get out of that. To get out of Sherbet Land alive. Especially when Wi-Fi at the time, when everybody seems to hit the wall hard. And losing a race because of that, if you don't have the right drift or something like that. So yay, Sherbet Land is in yet again that nobody fucking wanted. Even though we have all these tracks that deserve to make it more like Wo Wo Waluigi Stadium or Wario Stadium. So, the next track is... Waluigi Pinball. I actually am not complaining over this one. This is actually a good track, to be honest with you. I'm actually not complaining. This is actually a good track. It could have been a lot better if it was in Mario Kart 8, but unfortunately they had to choose it at the worst possible possible second. And instead it has to go on the 3DS. I liked how it was in Mario Kart 7, but it could have been so much better with anti-gravity or something like that. It could have been great in HD, just saying. The third track in the Leaf Cup is... Rainbow Road! For, I mean, for the first time ever... For, we are not having a Rainbow Road in the, in the last race of the Lightning Cup. Since Mario Kart 7. I mean Mario Kart Wii. Rainbow Road is supposed to be in the Lightning Cup. Not the Leaf Cup or the third race. <laughs> what are you doing, random name picker? Why do you like torturing me so much? Now I regret doing this, to be honest. So, the last race in the... In the... Yeah, Leaf Cup is... Wario Coliseum! Finally they choose it. You have all these games and you can't even put Wario Coliseum in? It's much better than some of the other tracks in there. You have all these tracks that you can choose and you don't even pick Warrior Coliseum. Take notes, Nintendo. That should be in. Well, at least my wish came true here, so yeah. And honestly, it makes sense that it's the final race of the Leaf Cup, to be honest. So, the Lightning Cup, the last race in the last race, the last cup in the game for Retro Tracks. Four more, I'm already feeling old. Dolphin Shoals. I know that's one of the last tracks, the most recent ones, but who, who honestly cares? I mean, literally. Alright, the second track in the final Lightning Cup is... Donut Plains 2. Well, at least it wasn't the third one, at least. And they made the third one less shitty, so I'll get I'll give him credit there. 
the third race in the Lightning Cup is Mario Circuit 2, two of the original tracks, two of one of the original tracks. And now, the moment that you've been all been waiting for, what will be the grand finale in all of the, the Retro Cups? Is it going to be a wasteful category, or is it going to be a one that's worth, worth it? I mean, why is it called the Lightning Cup? It's literally the oldest game versus the new game. I'm pretty sure that a Mario Kart 8 track is going to be in there. So, the final track in the re the final retro track in Mario Kart Tour is... I want to die. Literally. I want to fucking die now. All those good tracks is all you have to give me is fucking Shy Guy Beach. <laughs> why did you why are you torturing me, random name picker? You like to ran you like to literally just torture me with shit decisions. Out of all the tracks, you choose fucking Shy Guy Beach after the disaster Mario Kart Wii disa has given us. Like Wow, was that terrible. Oh my goodness. The fucking crabs. They're absolutely fucking annoying in that game, and that's not going to make it any better. So, here is the final... Here's the final result. For the Shell Cup, we have Grumble Volcano, Bowser's Castle. Bowser's Castle for the Wii U. That's We have three of them here for some reason. <laughs> Don't worry, that's exactly what the game's gonna be like because of the absolute shit show by the gameplay. The Banana Cup, we have Music Park, Dry Dry Desert, Yoshi's Circuit, and Bowser's Castle 3. That's been never used. The Leaf Cup, Sherbet Land, Waluigi Pinball, and Wario Coliseum. Which aren't bad decisions, they're all good tracks though. The Lightning Cup, to me, is the biggest shit show. Dolphin Shows, Donut Plains 2, Mario Circuit 2, and of course, Shy Guy Beach. Yay. I mean, absolutely. I mean, literally. I am speechless, literally, how it gave me Shy Guy Beach. That is absolutely insane. The fact that it literally, you have all those good tracks and all you give me is an even worse one. <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks for watching this hilarious and original video, and com comment, rate, and subscribe for more content.